All right, that's it. We're getting serious. So I've been making a lot of my own clothes. And here's a shirt I made a little while ago. It, uh, it's in pretty rough shape. Okay, I'm hard on my clothes. I've got buttons ripped out. So I thought, you know what? There's got to be a way to make a shirt that's going to be Jamie proof. So. so I went online and ordered 50 yards of heavy duty nylon cloth. And then another 28 yards, because they didn't have more, of this blue stuff. Now this is the kind of cloth you normally make bags out of. So like this backpack down here, that's what this is made out of. It's pretty heavy duty, it's hard to rip. Yeah, check this stuff out. Nice and strong. I took the white stuff and made myself a shirt. And this is the shirt I'm wearing. Now, this one I haven't worn very much, but I have high hopes for it. I also put an adventure symbol adventure builder symbol on the back because hey it's got to have some kind of extra powers now special features for this shirt first i put my sewing machine on triple stitch and then double double sewed everything so all the seams are like six times stitched so no seams should rip out i also made the thread a different color than the shirt at first that was because i was being lazy but then i realized oh no that's because if the threads start ripping out i'll see it and then I can repair it before the thing just disintegrates on me. Now, one thing that sometimes happens is I'll be working away with shovels and pickaxes and I'll go by a tree and some thing will snag my shirt and rip the buttons out. Oh man, my shirt just totally got ripped open. Except it's got magnets. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Look at that. Oh, ripped open. Oh, oh yeah, so good. Such good stuff. Oh, beautiful. All right, I'm pretty sure this shirt is going to last me now. Now, the reason I think that is because I also made some shorts with that fabric about a week ago. And these I have taken digging with me. And not just like, you know, Mary Poppins kind of digging. I'm talking about like up to here in muddy water for eight hours straight, multiple days in a row with these shorts. And I, I got back two days ago after doing one of these all day things. And my, my daughter says, did you wear those shorts digging? They look brand new. And they do. Look how good they look. They're not stained or anything. Ah, so these are my new clothes. I think I'm going to make all my work clothes out of that heavy-duty nylon tent material backpack stuff, whatever it is. Because I think it's I think it's going to last. Oh, yeah. Let's go, baby. Okay, where did I get the pattern for my shirt? Well, this was one of my old shirts that was very much like that one I showed that has holes in it. And this one started coming apart and it fit really well. So before it totally came apart and got tons of holes, I cut the whole thing apart very carefully. And now I use this for the pattern for all of my shirts. And my adventure builder symbol here, I just traced it with a thing from one of my stencils and then sewed over all the lines with triple stitch. So it makes it a little bit thicker. For my shorts, I just kind of traced the pieces from another pair of shorts I made a while ago and that's at some point they came from a pair of shorts that I bought and I just kind of roughly traced out the pieces and then adjusted them over time because I have a big butt and stuff uh, so these are just two pieces one piece here and one piece there there's no seam on the side oh there are two other pieces because I put a pocket and that will fit my wallet it doesn't have a button holding it closed or anything, but I sewed the flap down the sides so it kind of holds it closed, but you can still get into it. And then the top's got drawstring. Do you know how that thing works? Where do you put the cloth? Where do you, where do you put the cloth? 